Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can use any type of sound file in the Spark AR Studio because it is very tricky to use um, yeah, sound files in the Spark AR Studio because Spark AR only supports one type of sound file and this is an .m4a file and yeah, you can't use um, common sound files like .mp3 or a .wav file but yeah, I will show you how you can use any sound file in the Spark AR Studio for the example here, I want to use this crowd.wav file. So yeah, it's just a crowd tuning. As you can hear, and yeah, I want to create a sample, a sample filter here. When we tap on the screen, we hear this sound. So yeah, as you can see, when I want to drag and drop this into my assets, this doesn't work. So yeah, let's do some magic so we can use this file. So. At first, we have to go to this website here, online-audio-converter.com. And yeah, here you can just drag and drop your audio file, um, yeah, MP3, WAV or M4A, um, what you want to convert. So yeah, just drag and drop it and wait until the upload is finished. So now you have to choose here the M4A option and now you can also set the quality. Yeah, now we have to do some um, settings here so just click on advanced settings and here yeah um, choose the sample rate of 44,100 kilohertz and the channels chose one because Spark AR Studio only supports mono sound files so after you have um, done all the settings just click on convert and then the website will convert your audio files and then you can download it so when the conversion is finished, just click on download and you will download the file. Now we can use this file in the Spark AR Studio. So now we can tr drag and drop the .m4a file to our, in our Spark AR Studio. So now we have here imported our sound file, but to use this we need, so we need to do some um, additional two steps. The first one is to add here an audio playback controller and here on the right hand side we have to set the audio we just imported and then we need another object the speaker object so we can also hear the sound when we play it so and here we have also set the audio to our audio playback controller zero so now we want to um, yeah trigger the sound when we tap on the screen here so we go to the playback audio controller and here um, on the left hand side besides play is this little arrow just click on it and now you have this play audio controller in your um, batch editor now next thing is to add the screen tab and here yeah just connect the gesture state output with the play input of the audio playback controller and now we can yeah play this sound so I will switch here the mode to simulate touch and then when I tap on the screen we will hear the sound. Yeah, so it's pretty easy to add any kind of sound to your Spark AR Studio. You just have to convert it here uh, with this online tour and then you can import it to your Spark AR Studio. I hope I could help you with this tutorial. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, it would be cool when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.